guys ever seen a trailer stood up like this but one of the lugs is stripped well i can't get the lug nut off so we're gonna try to take it off so i could go put some new tires on the trailer and i got old master welder jack of all trades right here American badass, watch me kick. You can... there's dougie doug <laughs> back in the hood <laughs> back in the hood man break it down oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Man, that thing almost fell on Doug, man. <laughs> I was trying to get the wheel taken off. Dougie, Doug. All right, you can let go of it now. Okay. Whoa. All right, go ahead. I got it. Okay. Yeah, let it down a little bit where it's got some pressure on it. Okay. Now if it falls over, it'll catch before it breaks. Woo! That was a close one, dude. Yeah, it was. Oh, let me see. No, no, I wanted to rest on it. Okay, gotcha. Yes, yeah, so that way it won't fall. All right. Yeah, we're good. I'll show you the lug this one there we go okay <laughs> <laughs> damn it man dang bro Whew. had a car fall on me before but dang yeah. not a trailer the dude you gotta do it right <laughs> damn it man where you been doug everybody misses you doug <laughs> hell i miss my damn self <laughs> how was your christmas and your and your new year's well so far it was all right hey i'm still alive i got to see my family Gotta get friends like you, you know, me, Mark, and my brother, and all them, Jay. Yeah, it's a blessing. Cool. You know, and the whole thing I can ask for is keep, keep people I have in my life here, uh, and I'll be happy. That's my New Year's, man. Be happy. There you go, man. No matter what happens, try to make the best out of it. All right, let's see what you got. We got power. Here. Check out Dougie Doug's little forge over here, what he got in the back. He's over here making some weaponry. Look at that. This is what Doug's working with right now. Nice little anvil right there. He said he's gonna try to be on some reality show fire in the forge or something like that so this he's about to fire it up walk us through it man walk us through it this is called nut coal after it's burnt to a certain stage it's called coke and after the coke you got kef which is the leftover of the coke and what you need to get your metal hot is the coke off the uh, nut how uh, hot do uh, these nut burn 1500 to 2000 degrees it'll melt metal and try to get them coal nuts on fire you can show them that knife i showed you earlier that burnt in half yeah my stir stick's gone oh well that one needs a little bit of work on it black ops tomahawk check that out dude oh not put and this is what we use for power. It's called a 3.6 volt hair dryer. Power? Yep, that's my air power, my oxygen supply. And we have a starter too, which is lighter fluid. I don't think bad about nut coal, it takes a little while to start. That's why you gotta mix a little bit of the other with it. Dig your little pit, put some chalk over the middle of it. That'll help start it. Soak that down. Playing with fire here. <laughs> Give it like two, three seconds. You know, let soak in a couple. This don't belong in there. That's rock that melts to your middle. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. Okay. No, nah, not until I turn the blower on. You gotta wait till you get a good little flame on it. 
and then you blast it. This is called a, a, a forge hood that keeps all the smoke out of your face and out to the top so you don't get sick. And it also makes your forge harder so your metal gets harder and you got more time to work with it. Tell us about that show, man, that you're, you're gonna try to get on. It's called Forge and Fire. And I mean, it's a good show. My son and my brother and my son's wife is, is gonna come out here do an episode we're gonna send on Forge and Fire to see if they'll accept us as like redneck forgers, you know? We're gonna try to get on Forge and Fire, make our own episodes and send them to YouTube and everything until we're noticed. We're, uh, every day we're gonna pad out something different or uh, every week when my son's here. It's, it's a family project. You know, family and friends, you know. And it's gonna be all right. If you're gonna make swords, you need something longer, right? No. No. You start out from where you, uh, from where you're heating to make yeah. your handle, right? Yeah. And you can just stretch your metal out. You, the more you heat on, the more yeah. you pull it out. You have to you get a stand to set your metal on while you're stretching it. That's what this is for. So I just stretch it out without it falling. I can take, uh, let's say, a piece of metal, probably maybe even this long. <laughs> One inch piece of rebar, I'd probably put it in there and it'll stay. You know, it had to be cut off here. That's what, two foot, About. three foot, at least two and a half foot. And that you can make a uh, four pound sword out of. Out of that right there? Half of this right there you can make, fill that. That's, that's supposed to be like 10 pounds. Dang. If you want, you can sit there and hold it all day long and turn it. But no, I got a rat that we use. It's called a metal forge rack. You can make your metal as high as you want to when you set it on your forge. Oh, right. Is that what it is? Is that what that's for? Like for the forging or you gotta just make music? Well, it was originally a suitcase oh, dolly, okay, right? Gotcha. Yeah. But we used it for forging so we can set our metal up. Ah, the longer the metal we got, like this piece here, yeah. I can set it in my forge like this. Ah, and let it get smart. hot all day long. I can make it. As long as not fog one, I can stretch it all the way out there. That's another foot. Put it back in. It's good to go. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> it's not hot, but it's warm. Yeah. I seen uh, Blood In, Blood Out. You know that one character, Miklo? <laughs> Milkweed. There's Miklo. What up, people? Stay with me. I miss this guy, dude. He's got me starting to look like him now, damn it, man. <laughs> My son calls me a machine because I don't ever stop. <laughs> <laughs> I can make this thing blaze if I want to. Damn. <laughs> Fire and brimstone over here. I'll show you some of the tools he made. He made this right here. Can y'all believe that, guys? I don't know how he made it. Let's see what else he made, guys. Let's look around. He made this. <laughs> I'm gonna see if he'll let me use it. This is pretty nice, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bruh. What is it? Oh, I just got that serpentine I started on. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember that one. I remember this one right here. I made that one not too long after that one. That's just something I threw together though. It's, it's a mini buoy. A buoy? What's yep. a buoy? A what? buoy knife was what Jim Bowie made. Back in San, uh, San Antonio Raids, Alamo and all that. Oh, he, okay. Daniel Bean or Jim Bowie is his name, I think. He made the first original buoy knife. It was huge though. This is just a miniature knockoff of it. Still not finished either. Right. I gotta put the handle on it, or is that, that the, is handle? the handle? Oh, that's the handle. I gotta put a guard on it, sand it down with the pit set out of it, and make it polished and sharpen it. That's what that sander there is for. I just got it yesterday. Oh, okay. So now I can finish my knives. Oh, it's done, guy. Oh, yeah, it's done. Oh, dang. Uh -huh, that's how you not do it. Sorry, sorry, Dougie. I'm gonna check this out. What you got over here hiding, man? What's this gem right here? What's that? Oh, that was this, supposed to be... Let's check that out, dude. This was going to be my homemade power hammer. Okay. This is an air pump what I used that I was going to use for my bellows for my forge. Yeah. And this is the hammer, the, the, the bevel I was going to use to hit my hammer. It swings it, raises the hammer up, right? Yeah. When it loads up, it slams the hammer down. Oh, gotcha, on, on gotcha. A billet. Yeah. So it's power hammer. You, 
push your foot down, it tightens up, go pow, 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 pow. I'm, I meant this baby right here, oh, man. Oh, that's the beast, dude. That beast right there. Let's check it out, man. What is it, snapper? Yep. Snapper nine horns, man. They had gas in it, fire up. We gotta put the gas on back here. Oh. Yeah, that's such nice. a beast, dude. I'm ready to use it. I've been using my yard, the neighbor yard, everybody's yard to my belt broke. Yeah. What do y'all think about this? That's pretty, it's pretty neat. 95. I like a, I like a little bag on it too, man. Too, man. You mind it? I'm telling you, man. You mind if I take a little sit? I don't care. If I sit yeah, on it? Break it down. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's Whoa. our steering pile, man. That's what we use to it. Yeah. Check that out, guys. Yeah. actually smooth man it's got the flex frame on it oh okay that's cool man the whole back will tilt like this the front will stay straight the back will tilt oh gotcha gotcha yeah gotcha. it's only got one more ride right here down the middle huh it's cool man that's a snapper during winter time if i'm if i'm done working with the mower and everything i pop off the top stand the mower straight up put it up against the wall dang yeah, it's called self-standing mower, storage space. Oh, okay. You drain the oil and you stand it up, sit it up against the wall. I, mean, I can pick that up by myself, man. You start with the front, right? You go, ooh, set it on your knees, then you push it up. Huh. So, uh, this is the heavy part here. I can lift this up one hand. Oh, shit, I just broke my bag, didn't I? Oh, oh. Oh Lord Jesus, there's a fire. God said, let there be light and fire to cook with. Dang, dude, that's getting hot. Woo! Adjust my tongs. Tongs, 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 tongs. That should be hot within a couple seconds. It's iron road roll spike, but it's not cast iron though. They got something called WT and that's real light too, but it's not high carbon. Oh, okay. These are good to make knives and things with the WT in. They're good to make show stuff out of okay. where you're not using them they're just for looks. Our stuff's purpose to be made. We go hunting or something, we got everything we need. You know, a zombie apocalypse happens. Somebody's they're getting ready. chopped up. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dougie don't play, man. <laughs> Unless it's with fire. After you get it hard, it takes about anywhere from three to five minutes to cool off where you can't hammer on it no more. Oh, it's so too... you got a long time then. I mean, yeah. you got enough time to play with it. Yeah, you got like three or four minutes play time. Then after that, you got, as long as it's still red when you put it in the fire, it don't take that long to get hot again. But you let it cool off too much after you get it out of the fire, it takes forever to get hot. You got to keep it glowing, but don't let it melt. Okay. Keep your, keep your spike at at least 900 to 1,000, but keep your fire hotter. So you just pull it in and out. <laughs> See, it looks like it's already starting to glow. Yeah, see, it's already glowing. That's all, that's not hot enough to beat on yet. Really? Yep. It's got to be hot. And the colder it is, the more you got to hit on it. Fire and a hoe. Do you ever burn yourself? Yep. It don't feel good. See how warped it is now? Yeah. It's hot. <laughs> Dang, dude, that takes a long time to do this, huh? <laughs> now I gotta straighten it out. Mark, come over and touch this with your finger. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me if it's hot. <laughs> now it's straight, it was warped, right? Yeah. It's already starting to flare out. That's cool, man. I heard that fire. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need the water to let the dang thing burn. <laughs> Spinning on the wheels of steel like it ain't no thing because the infrared